Have you ever stared up at the night sky and wondered, how did all of this begin? The stars, the galaxies, the vast expanse of cosmic wonder. Where did it all come from? The universe as we know it is a grand tapestry of mystery and marvel, and its origins are perhaps the greatest enigma of all. For a long time humanity has sought to unravel this celestial puzzle. Today the most accepted explanation among scientists is a cosmological model known as the Big Bang Theory. This theory paints a picture of an incredibly hot, dense point nearly 14 billion years ago that expanded over time to create the universe we observe today. But what exactly is the Big Bang Theory? How does it explain the birth of the universe? These are big questions and they're not easily answered. You are not alone in this curiosity. The greatest minds have been pondering this question for centuries, leading us to the concept of the Big Bang Theory. So what exactly is this Big Bang Theory? Picture this. Nearly 13.8 billion years ago, all matter, all energy, everything that is now our vast universe was compressed into an incredibly small, incredibly hot point. This is the starting point of the Big Bang Theory. It's not an explosion, as the name might suggest, but rather an expansion, a stretching of space itself. Imagine a balloon being inflated. As the balloon expands, every point on its surface moves away from every other point. In a similar way, the universe began expanding from this hot, dense point and continues to expand even today. This isn't just theory. We have observational evidence to support this, such as the redshift of distant galaxies and the cosmic microwave background radiation. Now let's get back to the beginning. At the very start, the universe was a hot, dense state, much hotter and denser than the core of a star. It was so hot and dense that atoms couldn't even form. This period is what scientists call the Planck epoch. As the universe expanded, it cooled down. After about a few hundred thousand years, it had cooled enough for atoms to form. This led to a period of recombination, where electrons combined with nuclei to form the first atoms. These atoms eventually clumped together under gravity to form stars and galaxies. And over billions of years, the universe evolved into the one we see today, filled with a hundred billion galaxies, each containing hundreds of billions of stars. The Big Bang Theory doesn't just explain where the universe came from, but also how it evolved over time. It's a grand tale of cosmic evolution from a hot, dense point to a vast, complex universe. In essence, the Big Bang Theory tells us that our vast and complex universe started from a tiny, intensely hot point and has been expanding ever since. Now that we understand the basic concept, what are the main points that underpin the Big Bang Theory? Let's dive right in. The Big Bang Theory is underpinned by a few key ideas. Firstly, it posits that the universe began as a hot, dense point nearly 14 billion years ago. This singularity smaller than an atom contained all the matter that now makes up our vast cosmos. Secondly, the theory suggests a rapid expansion or Big Bang that caused this minute point to inflate and cool, leading to the formation of atoms, stars, galaxies and everything else we see around us. But what evidence do we have to back up these claims? One of the most compelling pieces of evidence is the redshift of distant galaxies. When we look at far-off galaxies, we observe that their light is shifted towards the red end of the spectrum. This is due to the Doppler effect, which indicates that these galaxies are moving away from us. The further the galaxy, the greater the redshift, implying that the universe is expanding in every direction. Another crucial piece of evidence comes from the cosmic microwave background radiation. This is the afterglow of the Big Bang, a faint whisper of radiation that permeates the entire universe. Discovered accidentally in the mid-20th century, this cosmic background radiation is a snapshot of the universe just a few hundred thousand years after the Big Bang. The Big Bang theory also accounts for the distribution of galaxies we see today, and the observed abundance of hydrogen and helium. These light elements, according to the theory, were created in the intense heat of the early universe, and their proportions align remarkably well with the predictions made by the Big Bang Theory. So, our understanding of the universe's birth and evolution is encapsulated in the Big Bang Theory, a testament to human curiosity and scientific exploration.